Jones. <clears throat> Hi guys, Captain Moffat here. We're gonna talk about the movie that I watched, I think yesterday or something. But anyway, um, it's Robocop. The 2014 Robocop. My own opinions about the movie. Don't judge me. And anyway, um, it begins in an Iraq type of city with uh, too much security type of robots from Metal Gear Solid two robots with two legs and interesting high-tech things and the robot policemen and they need to have security to help the reporters to not be shot by the robots because they are detected only with certain red bands type of red bands here and um, after that we see some family desperate and the father says I go out and he helps with his friends and his son looks into the door window the door hole the door hole and sees that they are preparing to basically die and it's pretty bad choice it's pretty bad what should we say pretty bad stereotype there but anyway he decided himself to fight so why not and the son waited and ma the mom said come to me come to me wait here and then he decided no and his father and his friends died and he wanted revenge against one of the robots that shot him and such but they blowed up some robots and some such people or robot more and um, then the child wanted revenge and got a knife from the kitchen and something and wanted to attack or you know threatened the robot that killed his father or something and then the robot shot him without remorse or shot him very quickly he was programmed to it or so whatever and then the Americans are asking about should we have it on shore should we get it on the shores and uh, yeah half of them said no and it's a conflict no no robots no yes robots no no and after that uh, it's a very good news reporter that talks about it or news reporter person very famous he is a famous actor he is from the Avengers as well and um, then we cut to New York to the police officer Eddie Murphy investigating a case about the weapons that get sealed in America about their own police weapons and such illegal weapons against a boss mob moth mafia boss or type of criminal boss in a way and his friend and him decides you know he decides like he says to the police chief can we investigate and she says no 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 don't investigate it wait for it and he says I have proof I proved they're taking weapons and she's like yeah maybe but no um then he decides himself with his friend to go without backup and um, yeah it goes kinda well as cop movies would go um, they actually kill some people of the boss and they wait to try to strike on him and then his friend gets shot gets hospitalized and he waits for him and then he has conversations with his family gets visits his family and has a good time with his family and he is going to check his car but the thieves PS the boss and the thieves put the bomb into the car and basically made him explode and half of his whole body is pretty much mush or pretty much yeah you're screwed over so there are a new company that is Corprix Corprix International or something like that that works with robots and robotics and are the same guys that made the robots that in the beginning of the Arabic country fucked it up basically yeah they are basically those guys that made the robots that can be unhostile to kids or could kill kids and they yeah basically said to him yeah if you want to have a better body they say to her wife that yeah you can give us money and then sign the papers to make him better he had no chance and she should does it live a life like this or philosophy philosophical stuff about living life and maybe he should die instead but they give him a choice of living and then they construct him he becomes the robocop 
in the way and they make them in China and I should say an ironic pun here Chinese make good things but also make bad things they have a reputation before to make bad things so now they have changed it I think so anyway uh, they make him and they say that you have life and he says why do I have a life like this and why not put me out of a misery and such and this movie talks about humanity and also much other things about robots and they also see some other patients later on later on in the movie they see some other patients with a guitar and he can move and do the guitar music and such but they need to control his brain his brain movements and such and also he decides the main protagonist that I said before Eddie Murphy decides to you know accept the body and then they give them a choice and such and he had only lungs and only one hand and brain and head and then in the movie we have um, he tried to escape because he's desperate he's nervous he doesn't know that he's inside a robot body he thinks that is real body and we had a weird dream sequence with uh, an interesting weird sequence when they put him into sleep and to build him you know when they built him as Robocop they put him to sleep and singing by the moon was the song that he heard with his wife and dancing with his wife in a grill party or something when he dreams about it it was a dream but I like the music of that I like the music of that one and then they tell him that's not a dream he tried to escape he tried to escape the whole facility and actually succeeds but then gets shut down by them because they control them from afar like a like a helicopter or something like a toy car or something they control them so yeah they make him shut down and such and then they fix him and they talk about that yeah you should know you take it easy you take it easy you come to your kids and then later on he comes to his kid and such talk about what he done but that's later on so not not now but anyway he does some missions for them he stops the cops, he stops, no, he stops not cops, he stops the thieves and such. And he gets his um, memories, what should we say? That happens some things, the CGO talk about some certain things. He needs to also train to be a better cop, to be a better shooting cop with a new body and new weapons and gadgets you can get as a robot, cyborg. And they also planted with two or other three candidates before Eddie Murphy. They also planted um, to use them as robot cop candidates, but they couldn't because they didn't have a stable mind. They didn't have a strong mind, if we said so. Not stable, but strong mind. And then they train him and such, and we get a interesting montage with another music piece from Wizard of Oz which was kinda cool I didn't know that one I maybe heard it but I didn't hear it later on and it was interesting and very fun very cool but he hesitated of course and then the boss of the corp CGO corp argues about what should we say he argues about we want a machine but he said we wanted a Robocop and such but if you want a Robocop, you need to have the sentimental feelings, the scientist says. And then he say, can we not tweak it or something? And later on, he basically, he gives him a new motorcycle and such. He visits once his family. And then he tries to solve his own murder case. Or his own attempted murder. And he pretty much does that. But also have sold half to 50 percent of the population's criminal to only 50 to 50 percent of half criminals half not criminals and um the news are talk about the morality about the robot should they be trusted should they have them we cannot have uh, they should if they had robots they don't have any racism they cannot be bragged they cannot be paid also some good scientist things could be good for people that lost limbs which is a good idea I think which is a good idea but they have some negative ideas with this also in this movie it's um plus and minus movie 
can we say, in a way. And after that, they basically talk about politics and such. <laughs> and then they mute down the other politicians that don't want to have the robots. Quickly done like this. And then they... What should we say then? Then the Robocops try to, you know, he solves more many mysteries and then he gets um, some access to the database for the computer of the police station. He tries to solve an armed murder, he actually succeeds with it. Some cool battle scenes, some cool battle scenes when they take drivers. He takes some other villains or type of, you know, other criminals and cool battle scenes and, and a training montage. There are two training montages, the music one and the last training montage to go home in your home. To go home to your wife and kid. If you don't succeed, you stay. And you'll be fixed. Says the guy that gave him the weapons and also said that, you know, he gave them his armor as well. So, eh, pretty interesting. And we also see a cameo of the original Robocop armor. Which is kind of cool. A nod to the original Robocop from the 80s or 90s. Pretty cool. And they have the new black suit armor. I like the movie's armor and design and police division and such. But I also saw the corruption. They also... P.S. Corruption of the cops, of course. That would be cliche, but... That is expected, I think. And they leave on... Uh, what should we say? They find the real villain and the real villain... They have interesting ideas and... Then the scientists want to help him, he doesn't want to listen. And also the scientists took out this morality piece in his brain. And put a chip that would control him to more sufficiency. And in the training section, in the last one that he could go home in his home, he didn't act so much with his kid. He acted a bit, but he didn't act before when he visited the other time in the home, he acted in. In this, in the, in the first time, and not in the other time. In the first time, and in the second time, he didn't act. And he basically acted like a robot. He shot the enemies. He shot queer. He shot very good. He had very good action scenes. And also, his companion is showing up and help him and such. And some cool final battles. And the villain is dead and such. And also, he beats the shadow of the boss. Or the boss that. Put the trap on him, on his car. Pretty cool though. I there are political things that he tries to search about his kid, the nervousness about his kid that he, you know, he got, he got bullied in school and also that he has nightmares and such. Also, his personal life, basically also. But anyway, pretty cool movie overall. Action scenes, very cool. Very good. Smart ideas. Philosophical ideas about the robots and genetics and such. And in the last part, <laughs> the guy in the reporter place swears and then they decide, you know, to forget the scientist that did it. Even if he gets paid, but the other guy says, he should be in jail, he should be blah blah blah. He swears like shit, he swears like a sailor and he wears some beep, beep and such that. And he says the great America, and he talks about that America is so great, it's so good in some other... Uh, we have only, I think we have two or three TV broadcasts that they talk. How much should the Robocop sacrifice himself and such for this country to die, blah, 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 blah. Which is kind of cool, I like that part, but I also like that the wife and the kid has also kind of screen time and this worry about him and such. But also it's a problem that they're talking about the morality of having faults as a human. But also as a machine that we could do without faults. For example, we could have a society that could be ruled by machines and technology. And we could do wrong and then we could be punished. But also, you know, we couldn't brag the cops and brag the police. Which is a good, which is a good idea. But these both sides have pros and cons. Negative and positive in this. Can we say so? And anyway, I enjoyed the movie and I give it, I think I give it a 5 for story. It was interesting, not the most, but for action I give it an 8 because I like the action. For the cinematography of the, of the city and how it looks and how 
they portrayed it, the other country was kind of cool. I gave it at least an, mm, a 9, I give it a 7 or a 9. Mm, my final thought is 7. 7. And also, P.S. The reporter guy, the reporter TV man says, the America is the greatest. We should not cower about taking the choice. Some people say we take the choices of the mechanic machines and some people are scared of these mechanic machines and being here. But he says we're the great America. We should do what we should do. And I, I think like, yeah, I'm not sure. Do I want to have security or do I want to have privacy? It's a tough question to crack. It's a tough, um, it's a tough question to crack. But it's an interesting question. I liked it, but I was like, mm, no, dude, no. I would have some robot protection, but I would not have like that. A whole city controlled by robots? No, not Terminator again. Come on. But anyway, I like the movie and bye-bye.